So we got the news that the appeal will not be moving forward. There will be no third trial. And Amber Heard has posted a pretty long post on Instagram for the first time in a long time. Now, the thing is, Amber's got 5.3 million followers, but she doesn't get too much attention for that number. And it also seems like she's lost some. This here's a tweet from Beatrix Kiddo who says, holy S-H-I-T, she's lost 11,000 followers on Instagram since she posted her statement. And Beatrix has the screenshots right here. As you can see, 16,345, 5,458. Down by 1,000 in two hours. And here Beatrix points out her statement has been up for eight hours and she's only managed to get 148,000 likes from her 5.3 million followers. How embarrassing. For this subject matter, it's kind of bad. I mean, you see superstars with like 5 million, 6 million, even 10 million getting like 100k likes, 200k likes, but that's when they tweet out like, here's my kitchen, or look at me in this poster that's unreleased, or just some whatever nonsensical tweet or Instagram post. But this is supposed to be big news for her followers of 5.3 million. So if somebody critically defends it, they can make comparisons with follower size and likes, but you've got to take into the fact that this is a big announcement for her, not just some throwaway post. Having said that, when Giant Depp posts something completely random, it gets 182,000 likes. Now, I'm not sure if this went up 15 minutes ago. I think it looks a little older to me. But even so, the point is, a messy room should get a lot less than an important legal statement that your fans supposedly have been waiting for and want to hear from you. Plus, it's your first post in a long time, so you're breaking a silence that your fans are supposed to want to see you break. And looks like it went down even lower. Looks like around 12,000 lost. And I said, not possible. That's more than she had. She has seven followers plus Eve Barlow misinformation, which is a joke, of course. She's got more than seven but that's about the amount of people that comment. But of course, she shuts her comments off. Who knows? I think she's got like seven or something. And you could see that Amber's Free is trending. Also, Megan and Harry, Netflix Lies trending. Stephen King trending. And something else I don't want to really get into. And Beatrix says she had to check twice because she couldn't believe how many Amber lost. Well, I guess I believe it. Yeah, why not? This is a common statement. Who cares about her now? With this settlement, she is irrelevant again. Well, she's irrelevant not when Johnny fans think she's irrelevant. She's irrelevant when the corporations and the mainstream media consider her irrelevant. So there's two types of irrelevance. The irrelevance for the fans, and that's us, and I agree with you, Musa. Yeah, but if she's going to be featured in the mainstream media and in movies and things like that, then we've got to put out information that contradicts the stuff that they're spoon-feeding people. Or else what? Or else she just kind of makes a comeback and starts getting a little bigger again as somebody who abused Johnny Depp. So it would be nice to say, oh, she's irrelevant, you know, whatever, let's move on, keep, you know, going on with other things. But if we do that, then where do the people of the world who aren't following details who trust the mainstream media, going to get more accurate reporting on it. That's all I'm saying. That's my theory. And of course, quite a few comments down the line here, with a meme or two. Time to jump ship. Okay. Our work here is done. Well, my work's never done. I'll be following everything for a long time. We'll see what happens with Aquaman 2. That's coming up. And I want to see how the mainstream media treats all this. I'm assuming... Once articles come out today and tomorrow or something like that, they're going to come out with the framework of a win for Amber, Johnny can't continue, or whatever it is. And then someone comes around and reads it and thinks, oh, you know, wow, a win for Amber. They get confused, and the cycle continues. Anyway, I'm on Twitter too. Maybe give me a follow, trying to get to 3,000 followers. Check out Beatrix Kiddo. She's got a great Twitter account also. And if you're not subscribed here at the channel, consider it. And if you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad. But I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.